We left of Kuf Tzadiches. Maral Kuf Tzpeit Kuf Tzadiches, Perek Vov. It says, a person studies Lishmo, um rachakto min achet. It distances him from chet, um akarvoso li deishchus. And brings him closer to be meritorious. Ach she hiskeb ma'asha Torah no senes elov min anova vayiro. If Torah causes one to be more humble, vayiro, and to have fear, reverence, um in a chasidus vayoshva atzerik v'nemonus, she elu midus heim ruim lo'odom mitzachu odom. These characteristics have relevance to being a human being. Lekach eitzel omer eitzel elu midus loshen malbush. Ki amal b'shaych lo'odom. We said you're cloaked with a novin yiro. Kolsh came shemom aloshen umachsharto. Ki ratzelom shem machsher also atchu mesukan legamri. It perfects him. Vamaachka ki ishot b'torah shemekareves also laschus ba'olam. It gives you a greater relevance to be meritorious. Mechem merachak merachekes also mikolchet ba'olam. There's a concept. It's interesting. There's a post of Ragli Chasid of Yishmar. So if we said he, you become a Chosid, so once you're a Chosid, Ragli Chasid of Yishmar, right? He, well, he protects you. So what's that? That's Merachak to Menachet, right? It seems to be this is in addition. You're a Chosid, also Merachak to Menachet, right? He, keep, he keeps you distance from Chet. So I think Yishmar means. Even though the mishap is in your presence, he'll protect you. You shouldn't be ensnared. Merachakto means you fall from the chet. It's not he has to save you not to be harmed by the chet. You're in a distance that you have no relevance to the chet. That's the, that's the expression merachakto. It's not you have to go to the schus. The schus is there. You know what is similar? It says in the Midbar, the, tz- the man, the tzaddikim, they go out to the, open up the door, be at the doorstep. The Bainanim, they had to go a little further out. The Rishoyim, they had to go way out to bring it in. Right? The Tzadik was, was available. So, Mekarvoso. Hashem, the, the Shus, Hashem, does, the Tzadik doesn't have, to, this person learns, doesn't have to go after the Shus. Hashem brings it to him. It's at his doorstep. Where, wherever you turn, there's merit for you to, to be meritorious. Okay? So, you have a choice. Be a Tzadik. Yeah. Like you know, <coughs> we say Mgalgus You have certain people, they're always getting involved with the wrong company. The deal they do, there's always something not a hundred percent kosher about the deal. And there are other people, whatever they do, it's with the greatest level of integrity. The people, no, the people who associate with them. Certain people attract different kinds of people, but what's it about? This is Murachakto Minachet, or Makarvosal Schos. The person who studies Torah the Shema Hashem brings him, brings him, the bounty. He doesn't have to go out to get it. It's there. Bekarvat bekarvoso elaschus. I always say, you know, in life, you have the litmus test. Where are you at? Serious, you know. What comes to your door? What continuously comes to you? If people if continuously mitzvahs come to you, Hashem sends you mitzvahs and opportunities. It's a sign that you're on the, on the right track. And if he doesn't, right, then, then it's not such a good sign. I mean, it's, it's not a bad sign, but it's not a good sign. But if, let's say, other things happen to you, you're always put in a, in a, in a position of temptation, then, then it's a problem. Like, wh- what's going on? I mean, evident, evidently you have to do something right. You know, it's more than just checking your mezuzahs. Right, people are, you've got to check your mezuzahs until that's easy. Check your tool. Maybe you got to check yourself. You know. No, it's more than that. That's what I'm point. Merachakto rochok means you're going to spend how many weeks in Israel? No, you better pick up Hebrew a little bit. Okay. Merachakto menachet rochok means distance. Rochok. Rochok. There's rochok and there's rochov. It's a different word. Okay. Exactly. Not even on an inadvertent level. 
והתור שומר סולב של יובל לדחת, כי הדוביק עם התורו, הפרסל הוא תאצ'ס אפסל פטורו, אין התורו מניחו ליוס הולך דרך מקוקו כלל. התורו לא יכול לתת לך את הקרוקד פאף, או קרופטד פאף, אבל שומר סולב מנחת, וזה שאומר מרחקתו מנחת, ולפיכו לא יקשה לו פשיטו שתור מרחקתו מנחת, כאילו שהוא אומר שהוא צדק. אלא שאין חד בו לא ידעו. הוא אומר, לא, זה כמו שזה צדיק. הוא יכול להיות צדיק, אבל הוא צריך להתקדם עם האישוס. פה הוא לא צריך להתקדם עם האישוס. זה כמו זה. אני תמיד חושב על זה כשאני מביא את זה, אתה יודע, על משה עוזרי. מה אם הוא אומר חלק? הוא אומר שזה חלק, שחזקיהו המלך, הוא אומר לך יהודה, כשהוא לקח, הוא היה איבן אדם, הוא היה איבן אדם. אז כשהוא היה קינג, הוא נתן לג'ו ג'וז אין אולטימטום. He took a Sefer Torah, he had a sword, and he gathered all Klaus and said, look, I'm giving you a choice. Either you live by the Torah, you're going to be pierced by the sword. Which means he was giving him no choice. Within two and a half years, it says every child from Don to Be'er Sheva were proficient in all the laws of spiritual purity. That's the, literally, turned over the world. So what happens? All of a sudden now, San Cherev is attacking Yerushalayim. It's coming with millions of troops to destroy Yerushalayim. So Kodesh Baruch has a question. What should he do? Should he have Chizkiah go engage in battle with them and bring miracles similar to what happened in, in, by Yitzhiz Mitzrayim, Kriz Yamsuf, and Chizkiah should be involved? Do you think Chizkiah wants to be distracted from his Torah study? That initially he has, to be, he has to be confronted with all these issues, then he has to deal with them, then I have to perform miracles on his behalf. He probably preferred to just to learn, not even be aware of what's going on outside, I'll take care of it for him. So since he prefers that, I'm not going to interrupt his Torah study. And that's what happened. They were sitting and they didn't even know what was going on, on out there. Hashem said, Gabriel, he wiped out the camp in a moment. That's what happened. This is Sheikh Ched Bolu Al Yodo. There's no distraction. You don't even have. Hashem says, I'll, whatever has to be done, I'll take care of. You just, because that's what you want. But that's Torah Lishma. That, that was Chizkiyo. That was something else. Because there you had, he had to be, that was Kvisha, that was conquest. This is not conquest. This is ruling an enemy. Th th here it's a question of being a beneficiary of seeing miracles. No, not whatsoever. The Shtadlis was just Torah. He didn't, he didn't even know that they were coming. He didn't even know they were coming. No, he didn't even know to what degree. He didn't even understand the dimension of what was going on. Because he may have been frightened, it would have been a distraction from his Torah. Shem Dib says, he doesn't want to be distracted. To him, Torah is the ultimate. Even not to see miracles, he prefers just to be in Torah. Hashem says, if that's what he prefers, it's okay, I'll do it all for him. But that, that's Torah the Shema. That's the Gemara, that's the... Mar says he was qualified to be Mashiach. But he wasn't Mashiach because the Midas had then said, why did he say Shira? He should have said Shira, as Moshe said Shira after Kriyas Yamsuf, Chizkyo should have said Shira. <laughs> so, but that was Midas had then. Midas Arachim said, it's okay. Midas had then said, no. So what I said was simple. So what I said was, a tzaddik who sees something, like, like the story of Chizkyo, it's, it's understood. When you eat and you digest the food, and you sate it and you remain healthy, you should say Shira. Why did you say Shira? The answer is, of course, that's nature. That's why God created man, right? You don't have to say Shira on that. Shira, shira you have to say when you, something's out of the ordinary. If you study Torah the way they study Torah qualitatively, it's not out of the ordinary. That's why he didn't say Shira. There's no, it's understood. His whole being is Shira. So what's, so what's the claim? Because it says only Midas Adin came with this claim against him. The answer is, but what does the world have to say? At your level, you understand this. But what about the world? Doesn't reflect well. Here, Hashem performed such miracles for you. How do you not say Shira? That was, the, that was Midas Adin. Midas Arach says, it's, no, no, it's okay you didn't say Shira. Because where you're coming from, you understand? Of course this is supposed to happen. This is supposed to happen. But what the world sees, this is un un unheard of. 
the mightiest king in the world conquered the world in a, in a swoop, God destroys them. This, this you should say, Sira. That was the Midas Adin's claim against Chizkiah. To be continued. It's like there was a story many years ago. A certain person, he, used to, he lives in the zoo for many years. He used to come to Yad Avram. And he came from a very wealthy family. And he went to visit the Tosha Rebbe. And Tosh, most of the people, there's no commerce. Most of the people don't work. They're either Mulamdim or Shochtim. That's it. Or Molim. So he says, the Tosh Rebbe is known. He's like a wonder rabbi. He's a very great tzaddik. Today's in the mid-90s. So, those, so the person says to the Tosh Rebbe, he thought he has a lot of money. Young guy. Then he maybe was in his early 30s. says to the Tosh Rebbe, so how, how, do, how do you people support yourselves? So he says, uh, could you repeat the question again? He says, how do you people make ends meet? He didn't understand the question. <laughs> you understand? That's the, way it, that's the way it is. You know, you do the right thing, Hashem provides. 